Cold right now, so instead of telling you my jokes vocally, I decided I'm going to tell you them through the long time honored tradition of interpretive dance. Okay, here I go, here I go. No, I'm just kidding, you left to this guy, I won't do that to you. I'm sorry, ma'am, that was terrifying. Um, but you'll be in a wheelchair, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Like, for instance, I can get away with anything. Like, for instance, you, I could steal your child. And there's nothing you, what else can do? Stop me. He even try to stop me. I tell you, I will call the DA on you. I'm not talking about the district attorney people. I'm talking about the disabled army, okay? <laughs> Tell me one phone call, and 500 people will roll in right in here and will start beating you with handicapped placards. <laughs> that is not a joke, people. Those things are hard plastic. You might get a bruise, man. Shoot, you don't want one of those. But you know, I already have one of those handicapped placards, and I'm telling you, there is much power on one of those things. For instance, you could park in the middle of the street, causing an accident that kills 50 people, and you could lose all that purpose. But as long as you have your handicapped placard up, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. It's what us cripples call a park and roll. <laughs> It's not our fault, officer. They ran and died. And it's their fault. They shouldn't have hit me. How dare they beat the crap? But you know, but you know, people, there's one place in this world that I will never go. I will never go. And that's the amusement park in Bear Farm. Now I'll tell you what I'll tell you. Cause I went there and told my friend for my birthday or something, and we asked this lady if I can go on this ride, and she's all like, "Yeah, sure. I'll go around the back to the wheel entrance." So we get around back to the wheel entrance, and the wheel entrance was. 20 stairs. <laughs> what? You know? Like, but you know, they show a sign outside that just saw, like, if you're handicapped, go away. In big blue and white letters, you know. Oh, some response going off, I tell you. I tell you, I have no respect for the crippling, eh? I tell you. I see how it is. <laughs> Cancer on you? No, 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 that was my other friend's joke, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Cripple on you? That's why, okay, that's what it is. Break your legs too, so I'm happy. That's right, that's right, but you know, seriously, they should have another sign outside that's just all like, that's just, that just says, all cripples just leave, you know, because they, they don't care at Osprey Farm. They don't care if you're, if you're blind, deaf, dumb, Roseanne Barr, they don't care who you are. Okay, this want you gone, okay? How dare they? But you know, well, actually, the last time I did go there, I did this, see this sign outside that said, No crips allowed, but bloods are fine. <laughs> like, what does this mean? So I go inside there and I get shot, and that's why I don't go there anymore. <laughs> but you know, people, speaking of gangs, I, I actually belong to a gang. Yes, we are called Red Wheels. We do many drive bys a day. And we, we're very big into tagging, very big. You've probably seen some of our work in the parking lots. Okay. Um, <laughs> except how it don't work. But you know, people, you know, I do go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah, Disneyland, they love me over there. It's like I go over here, I get free stuff, you know. Well, actually, I don't get free stuff, I steal it. <laughs> but hey, it's free to me. I mean, come on, when was the last time you saw a person in a wheelchair? Getting arrested. <laughs> Never. That's when. So, I mean, what are we supposed to do? Shut my tires? Like, see them try. There's a deer written all over it. They will come over there and break their legs, you know. Because that's how we add to our numbers. But, um. 
I tell people there's one thing I won't get about Disneyland is that they have some days there. They have a gay day, a goth day, an old person day. I'm telling you, if they had a wheelchair day, I would not go. The lines are way too long, people. Okay? I'm telling you, it's easy for me to walk, but that's not gonna happen. You know? I'm telling you, there's just another way that the mouse is trying to keep me down, okay? Got him! Cripple power! Cripple power. That's right, the cripple power is strong in this one. That's right. That's right. But you know, so I watch a lot of TV, a lot of TV. I know that I saw this commercial on TV for a medication for depression, and the side effects on this thing were may cause heart attack, may cause coma, and may be fatal. So it's like, after you have your heart attack and wake up in your coma, your last words will be, at least I don't want to kill myself anymore. <laughs> and then you die. So it's like, die now or die later. Choose wisely. Okay? Okay? But you know, people, speaking of the side effects, there's one side effect I never have to worry about. And that is, of course, sleepwalking. <laughs> Where am I supposed to walk? To the floor? Come on, people, come on. But you know, people have a question for all. How many of you have seen those commercials on TV? They're all like, if you or somebody you know has died while taking this medication, please call this number. It's like, yeah, hi, I died while taking this medication. Let's help you get some, if you can get me some ghost money. But you know, people, I'm really sick and tired of these commercials on TV. They keep trying to get me to lose 50 pounds. Do I look like I lose 50 pounds? <laughs> Why did you get it for the pounds? Where are those commercials? I've joined something like that. Those commercials would be way different. They'd be all like, I was 240 pounds, but now I weigh 125. Make the fat mama's house a large, you know? Then they show fat mama with her large. She'd be all like, you know? But the people speaking of weight loss, the other day I saw on TV that they now have weight loss pills in the form of sprinkles. Now you know you're fat when the only way to take away those pills is by sprinkling them over your ice cream, okay? <laughs> That's right. Only in America, people, you know. Fattest country on earth. That's so big. We are the fat ones here, how dare they? Go away, Samoa, I tell you, how dare they? You know. Don't do that to me. But you know, people, now like I said, I like to watch a lot of TV, a lot of TV. I remember mean, those shows on TV where they have to do challenges. Like the biggest loser where they have to lose like five pounds in 20 hours or something crazy like that. But I was thinking, what if they had a challenge show that was full of cripples? Now that'd be something right there. I mean, because like one of the challenges could be all like, who can reach that glass of water on the fridge? <laughs> With their grabber, of course. Um, or who can get up off the floor after they have fallen. Um, and my favorite, who can live the longest. It's true, it's true. But you know people, I mean I can host it too. I can be like, cripples, start your wheelchairs, you know. For the, wheel for the wheelchair race. That has to be one, it just has to be. Okay, but you know people like the other day I saw a commercial on TV that said that they are now recalling hip replacements. Could you imagine that phone call? Be like, Mr. Johnson, yeah, this is Dr. Jones. Um, remember the hip we put in about three months back? Yeah, we're gonna need that back. <laughs> Screw you, Dr. Jones. Tell you. No time for love, Dr. Jones. No, um, but you know, people, I'm 22 years old, and to this day, I'm still giving the kids menu when I go to restaurants. <laughs> Like just the other day I was at the store, my father and his lady came over and asked my father if his little boy could have a cookie. That little boy is me. I took the cookie and I ate it. It's not stupid, I'm not turn down free cookies. Tell you I may not look like I can eat, but I can eat. For instance, last Thanksgiving I ate three whole carrots, people. That was dangerous, I almost died from that, that was bad. But you know people, actually this last Christmas, I was given a rice cooker and I was so surprised because she wasn't even Filipino. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I was like, what the heck, man? They sent me the wrong person, you know? <laughs> so I sent her back, you know? I was like, screw you. Go oh, away. You know? But you know, I'm gonna let you know a story of mine, okay? The other day I was in the parking lot of a Denny's. I looked and I saw that this tree had fallen down the middle of the road and I'm all like, oh no, there's a tree falling down the middle of the road. 
Then I went inside Denny's and ate my food, came back out. The food was pretty good, which was surprising for Denny's. And I looked and I saw that the tree was still there. I'm like, what the heck, man? No, 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 they don't take away the tree, people. They put down cones in front of the tree to tell you that there is a tree in the middle of the road. <laughs> it's a 20-foot tree! Think about that, your tax dollars go to pay people to put down cones in front of 20-foot trees. Well, that money could be going to me. <laughs> That's right, I disability, or as I like to call it, government money, you know. <laughs> and because I get government money, they find it fit to send someone to my house every year to make sure that I'm still crippled, you know. Because <laughs> they don't know, I mean, I could be running around every morning. Actually, I do run around every morning, but they don't even know that, sir. Don't tell them. I'll kill you, too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, I tell you. I tell you, that's what's going to happen one day. I'll tell them, but to lose it. But you know, people, I have a question for all you know. How many of you have seen those in case of fire use dead signs in front of elevators? Well, yeah, yeah, me too. But what they really should be saying is, in case of fire use stairs, but if you're in a wheelchair, good luck. <laughs> or they should at least have a sign next to that one of a person in a wheelchair. I'm fire, you know? It's called common courtesy, people. Get some, okay? Don you, how dare you? But you know, I'm also learning how to play golf. And I'm telling you, it's going to be fun figuring out what my handicap is because... <laughs> um, I mean, you'd think you'd know after 12 years. I just can't help inhaling any helium. <laughs> so scared, so scared. Um, I'm just afraid of what might happen, you know? I mean, dogs would be barking for miles around. People's eardrums would burst. Glass would shatter, saying shards of glass flying through the air, cutting people in the face. And the children, the poor children. <laughs> I can't do the children, people. I love all children. Except for that one boy the other time, I smacked him in the face, but he deserved it. <laughs> How dare he give me a small instead of a large, I'll beat the crap out of you. You know? But you know, speaking of the children, I go to this camp every year for children with cancer, and I have one job, that one job. And that is to watch the children at nap time. But I said, I know it takes a nap, but they watch me. Then what am I supposed to do for an hour? Look at the trees? No, I sit there. Okay. I mean, I get tired when I sit down, people. I don't even know how I'm awake right now. It's gotta be drugs. No, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. No. I mean, they could have died and I would have been sleepy. I'd be like, wake up. What is going on here? You know? I don't know. I don't know. But you know, people. Now, I was thinking the other day, as I was taking my, my monthly shower, I was thinking. I was, it's like, you know. Ghosts are pretty scary. But have you ever seen a ghost in a wheelchair? Now that is sheer terror right there, people. I mean, because it, it is dead and crippled. You can just not stop it. You are not safe anywhere. I mean, unless you go upstairs, of course, they can't get you. <laughs> they can't get you. Can't get you. But you know, people, like I was saying, well, I, I like to watch The Biggest Loser, and I, I, I actually was on The Biggest Loser once. Yes, I was. I was the only contestant ever to go in obese and come out anorexic. <laughs> yes. They did my well, did wonders. You know, they did wonders. But you know, people, I don't know if any of you know this, but I'm actually a black man. <laughs> well, I like to say, I have a black man living inside of me. His name is Charles. He's pretty fun. He comes out when I talk to people. You know. But you'll be able to leave you on this joke, okay? So, you know, people, there's another place in this world that I will never go, I will never go. And that is Australia. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. It's not because I hate Australians, people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do hate those kangaroo lovers, darn them. <laughs> Hope they'll die. Hope they'll die in a tree. I don't care. I don't know, they have, in Australia, they have trees, and they have their dirt. Okay? But, you know, people, I have scoliosis, and that's why I'm afraid to go there, okay? I mean, my spine is so curved. I'm afraid I'll be saying that's boomerang, you know? <laughs> I mean, I can see it right now. Boy, the second boomerang was thrown, but did not come back. <laughs> Sad story. Thank you, that's my time. I'm Tyler Ward.